guys, welcome to season two of Beer Banter. Uh, I am a replacement just for today for Yannick. My name is Rufio. This is Jack. I'm Jack. We're here at uh, Highside in Fairfax, Virginia. Yes, Old Town Fairfax. God damn it. It's always, it's always Old Town Fairfax. That's right. It's because he's 40. I am getting up there. A the uh, little, bit, little bit different though. We're doing this uh, at night. This is an after dark session. Uh, but we still got really good beers for you guys. So uh, to start off, we have my favorite brewery, uh, Jester King. They're out of Austin, Texas. I was there five years ago. Beautiful brewery, uh, literally on a farm. Um, they're really big into spontaneous fermentation. Uh, they have their own house mix culture yeast. They make really, really good stuff. We were lucky to get a couple. Um, but their, their beer is phenomenal. Kind of hard to get in this area. What do we, uh, what do we got, brother? Uh, yeah, man, we're doing beer decoupage. Um, another farmhouse ale. Uh, it just refers to the style of brewing. You mix uh, old beer with young, young beer with new beer. Um, so it's almost it's like good. almost like what Rodenbach does. Kind of, kind of or, similar. Yeah, kind yeah, of similar. I, I mean, there's, it's going to be almost like a Solera style of brewing. Right, you, right. You keep topping the um, the old beer off with yep. the young beer, and then it's, I'm sure there's it's a certain probably, blend factor. Absolutely, and it's probably going to be probably just a little bit funky, a little bit tart. I, I expect it to be funky. I hope so, man. I, it, yeah, well, that's my jam. Let's crack it open, man. Let's do it, man. I'm excited. Why talk about it? When we could drink it. Look at that, it didn't explode. It did that's, not. That's a good it's sign. It's no against right the there. brain. No. I'm excited, man. Sean Case. So already, that's an awesome kind of hazy straw color. It smells great. I Does can it? Smell it from here. It smells great. Oh yeah. That's this is this is perhaps our wheelhouse, Jack and I. We we like uh we like the fun. We do. Well cheers, man. First beer band season two. Let's see what, we got. Let's see what we got. I mean, yeah, man, there's there's some earthy funk there, um, which kind of makes sense because, uh, to my knowledge, I was there, I was talking to the bartenders, they actually forage some ingredients, uh, literally from around the farmhouse. They probably threw a couple things in here, uh, but you definitely get kind of that earthy, kind of gravelly flavor, but it, it's still mushroom. pretty tart, yeah. yeah. There's like almost a little bit of like mushroom in there. Kind of grassy, uh, um, a little bit of peppery. It's, still, it, it's a little woody, you taste yeah, a little yeah. bit of wood yeah, in there. Man, this they, is awesome. I, you know what? I'm gonna let me revisit. I can't. I can't really go. Yeah, off if you guys smell sip. the nose That's on this, it's, it's It's pretty solid, man. Gotta have at least what a bottle, bottle and a half uh, to really I, decide I, where. I you could probably there. polish this off real quick for sure. What about an ABV? Because I'm not sure, man. Just look it up. It's I'll, I'll tell you what. It, it doesn't taste strong. No, um, I'd it, say it's five pretty and easy and going. Five point four. Yeah. So five point four. Yep. This is easy. This is sessionable. I mean, and that also makes sense because a lot of farmhouse sales, you know, you're meant to kind of drink it. It keeps you kind of coasting throughout the day. Yeah. yeah um, nothing wanna... too crazy. Uh, nothing too big. Nothing too complex. You're not. Th you're not throwing the long ball. No. You're not throwing the oh, long man. ball, man. You're taking little yeah. safety sideline yeah, routes. Yeah. Um, I would say, let's. You're, you're ready to hit the Jensen scale. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're familiar with the Jensen scale, right? It's, I, uh, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying not to be biased because it is my favorite brewery. Um, so just just to refresh you, yes. zero is trash. Zero is garbage. Zero okay. you don't want to drink. I, I've never drank a zero. Vaz and beers, right? Gotcha. Uh, gotcha. <laughs> five is mythical. I, I don't know if five that's, exists. That's a tough scale. Five's like an over the pants hand job behind a Whole Foods market. Okay. Um, okay. I'm gonna. Let me get one more right, sip, yeah. one more sip. Well, I don't know about hand jobs, but uh, that's a that's that's a solid three, 3.9, perhaps a four on the Jensen scale. I'm very well, proud of this beer. So, I think it's so really good. Typically, we, we go in, in quarter increments. Oh, we go in quarter increments. So okay. you gotta say four. Well, I'm just gonna give it a four. Yeah. So it's I'm good. A, I'm gonna, um, it's very good. Yeah. It's very good. I'm not that into it as you. Uh, I think for what it is though, no, uh, it's, it's a light fun. farmhouse with a little bit of sourness and a little bit of a grassiness. I always, I always, sense. I always base my rating uh, like zero to five for how yeah. good it is for the style, zero to five for how good it is for my palate. Yep, and I kind of mix the two together. Yep, yep. I'm gonna say this is a fucking, this is a solid three and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solid three I and mean, a half, man. It's a good beer. If it was, if it was 70 degrees outside and not 17. This would be a great lawn beer. It, uh, it would definitely be an upgrade from like a Miller Lite and going to lawn. I mean, it's, it's it's solid. It's colder than 17 right now. It's pretty. It's, it's pretty about chilly. 10. Yeah. Uh, but we yeah. do, and this, the, the great thing is now that Jester King has distro into Virginia, mm -hmm. if you want to come in here to the high side, Absolutely. you can not only get this beer, but 
We do oh have God. three Jester Kings to sell. Uh, one of them is, uh, uh, I believe it's another farmhouse with a, a lot of flowers into it, so you definitely get some floral aspects. And the other is our good friend uh, Joff's uh, favorite profile. It's a fig beer. Um, it's actually a smoked fig beer, um, so you're definitely going to get a, a big depth of flavor there. Uh, these are all available to sell either on premise Take them to uh, go. or to go. Take them to go. Um, and you guys should definitely stop by. So yeah, man. Get some really good stuff from Jester King. And now we're, we're going to get out of here and we're, we're going to enjoy these. Probably going to kill that bottle. Cheers. Cheers, brother. Yeah, See you all soon. Thank you.